everyone, this is a unthinkable a tragedy. Uh, we have to uh, first and foremost pray for all of those who are impacted, uh, those families. Uh, pray for our first responders and thank them, uh, all of them working together, uh, city, state, local, to make sure that we are uh, working through this uh, tragedy. And as President Biden has made clear, the federal government will provide all of the support that they need for as long as it takes. This is no ordinary bridge. This is one of the cathedrals of American infrastructure. It has been part of the skyline of this region for longer than many of us have been alive. So the path to normalcy will not be easy. It will not be quick. It will not be inexpensive. But we will rebuild together.上一艘挂有新加坡国旗的货轮撞上左边数过来第二个桥墩，激起巨大水花。撞起瞬间，整座桥断成好几截，掉进冰冷的河水中。Looking at the video, it, it appears there's some sort of collision, and、um, based on how quickly the bridge collapses, it was obviously a very significant crash. 事情发生在美国马里兰州巴尔的摩，当地时间的二十六号凌晨一点半左右。货轮先是开到桥墩旁边，短暂停留两分钟左右，重新启动的时候就发生意外。桥上几部汽车跟着断桥一起落水，当局已经派潜水人员到现场搜救。Unfortunately, we understand that there was many as up to 20 individuals who may be in the Patapsico River right now, as well as multiple vehicles. 船东随即发表声明，表示全体船员及两名引航员全数平安。据了解，这艘长约两百八十九公尺、名叫达利的货轮，原定凌晨一点从巴尔的摩启程，前往斯里兰卡的可伦坡，出发不到半小时，不明原因撞上大铁桥。事发后，当局已立刻宣布封闭桥梁与道路。这座四线道大桥，一九七二年开始兴建，一九七七年启用，全长二点五七公里，是巴尔的摩连接华府、宾州等城市的重要桥梁。当局将针对事故原因及桥梁结构是否有问题进行调查。《民事新闻》综合报道。